All right, we got an update here. Do a little, uh, little bit of an update for you. I've got. Uh, I went through the whole thing pretty much. Um, the gas tank. Um, I welded the gas tank and had a little bit of trouble blowing through, and then it still leaked. <clears throat> but um, and I ended up getting uh, once I welded it, got it as best I could, and I put um, um, JB Weld on here. Shameless plug. I put it on top and the bottom. It's hard as a rock now, and uh, <clears throat> I haven't filled the tank up completely, but it's not so far. Nothing's leaking, so. Let me, uh, <clears throat> now the problems that I was having mostly, um, I got all the timing and everything, put it all back together, I don't know if you can see that, put everything back together, uh, I didn't have to mess with the carburetor, but I, what I got here is, I added this, uh, 10 gauge uh, ground wire to actually the um, the coil. I you can see that. Let me get in there. So the the green wire that comes off the, the CDI, and then there's a uh, back here. So I, I run the green wire up to this wire here, and this thing was, this wire, the, the green wire, the ground wire, was hooked up to the lights, and then the lights went down to this ground wire. You can see it down here. Right here. And this wire, I followed it around, it was hooked up in, in, in this right in here. I don't know if I can get it lined up here. And here, you know, all the lights were hooked up to the, the actual coil wire. So I cut the coil wire off the, uh, the green wire because they were all grounded to that. And every, it seemed like every time I turned it on, turned the lights on, I would lose power, the, the engine would start bogging down, so I disconnected the, the coil wire from that, and then made a uh, separate ground for this, and this here, the, uh, what I did here was, I watched some videos on increasing the spark, and I wrapped I don't know if you can see, you can't see because I got it all covered with tape. I wrapped it really several layers of tape. I haven't had some red red uh, electrical tape. And I ran, and I coiled it up all around the wire, the main wire. I took it all apart. You can unscrew the, uh, the this main wire from the, the boot and the, the coil itself. And I checked all the continuity, and it was continuity, and I couldn't figure out why. And then I went to start it today, after I put it all together, went to start. And what I found out inside this boot here, pull the boot off. You can see how the plug has like a screw on it. Get in. So that, right in there, this screws into this here it's plastic and then the the wire there's like a screw that comes in here you can screw the the whole uh, wire into it and there's a screw that runs all the way through here touches the back side of the where the boot goes in there's like there's like a, a metal sleeve that goes down through here and there's a wire and it was touching the sleeve. Well, I wasn't getting any continuity from the middle, this part, 
screws into this plastic piece, the um, cup, and it's supposed to contact that metal sleeve inside. Well, I wouldn't get any continuity. So you can unscrew that brass thing in there. And what I did, um, I took a, a spring from a pen because they're in it, put it in there and compressed it down. And voila, the contact the uh, the brass to the to the screw down in here, and the spring acted as a it acts as a like a, um, a fuse maybe or a connection, so it's not spring loaded. Eh, and it works. And I got and I, just learning from these other things when I first got spark on this when I first started it up that was a really weak spark now I regrounded everything I make sure all the grounds are tight and everything and then putting this coil around here they call this a, uh, a coil ground and I grounded it to the frame and then I'm getting good ground all the way around the whole engine and that just the spark when I when I uh, set it up on here, and it just the spark was really hard. It was a good sh sharp spark. You, you could tell the difference that there was a lot more spark. So let me put this back on. Put back on. But yeah. So if anybody's having any trouble, make sure that you take. The, the green wire from the coil in the back here and you hook it up to a, this a heavier wire and ground it separate is, and it, using it as own ground and then you have the one uh, blue I think it's black and white or some wire going back to the CDI I gotta put it all back together again. So I've been kind of kind of messing with the wires, you know. Or the uh, it's the uh, the yellow wire, yellow and black wire. That all the green, all the wires are green out here. Pretty much ground wires. So now my lights, when I turn the lights on, I'm not going to start it. I could start it, but I'm going to turn the switch on. You turn the switch on, and I got lights are much stronger this time around. Okay. Uh, let's start it. I'm going to take out this baffle back here. Get a little bit of a freer. Uh, Now it's running really good now. It's running smooth and quiet. Engine is really quiet. So the engine's really quiet now. Um, I don't hear no valve noise or ticking noises coming off the, the plug wire and everything, so that's good. Um, the seat, <laughs> the seat was a real is a real pain in the ass once you take that once you take this whole thing off and uh, try to stretch it back over there it is hard to get back on so I'm kind of still working on that but um, I'm a little off my holes <laughs> I may have to recut the, the wood a little bit so I'm almost done with the seat so I can get so I can put the seat back in and go for another test drive. Uh, and the 
garage is my portable garage has been using it and it, the table is full of, of tools and shit I've been using so that's where I'm at um, almost done with this thing and I probably end up I'm still probably gonna paint the wheels uh, a gold color but yeah it's it's been uh, real fun working on this thing you know a learning real learning experience I can tell you that I know this video is getting a little long but uh, I'm loving it having fun doing it that's all